Okay, Pam. We're going to work on this one I got right here. This cool banner I made. Here's the letter Z. We're going to zoom in. We're going to do the letter 1. We'll do the letter F. We're going to do the letter F. We're going to turn this letter F. Huh? I did say the letter one. Okay. I swear. I always have somebody over here correcting me. It's okay. The letter one. All right. Now, now that Chrissy's got her giggles off, we're going to come over here. We're into this letter F, which is a letter, and we're going to hit the pen tool. Now, okay, over here, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and create another layer, okay, and have it selected. And that's what we're going to work in right now. All right. So, pen tool. And we're going to start working on. And as you see, I zoomed in really tight to where I can make sure I catch all these little nuances of the letter. And like this curve right here. If you're not zoomed in really well and you try and put some points in here it's not going to come out well because you need like five or six points to make that curve happen. See, I kind of messed up right there. That one's a little further in. I'm going to just hit Command Z, go back a one. All right. And then... You're probably going to want to maybe fast forward through all this. I would imagine. I know I would. Now, the reason why you're having to do this is because your image <clears throat> that you're working on, there's no contrast to it. I mean, it's like it's a light gray against a gray. And that's bad. That's hard to do. I mean, if I wanted to cut this black letter out, I could easily do it. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. But it would be easy to do. But since you're doing something that is working uh, two, two light colors against each other, it's going to be hard to use a selection method to uh, cut it out. So you're going to have to do something like this when you get working with when it's really close in color. You know, you might have been fast forwarding through that, what I just said, so I'm going to have to repeat it just to be sure you get it. Alright, boom. I'm going to zoom out. Right now you can't see it, but that letter F is selected. Alright, and if you zoom in really close, you can kind of see my line still. See them right there? See it right there? Alright, I'm going to zoom out. Alright, now I'm going to go back to my pen tool. I was just using it. You, you're going to right click. It's going to give you a drop down box. You're going to hit make selection. Zero. And there you go. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can fill it. Alright, now. Here's the thing. See right now we have, it. We have a new layer selected, okay? If I fill my ant lines, all easy, the computer doesn't know that I just followed that letter F. It doesn't know that. I did that on my own. So if I drop, if I take uh, that letter, the word free out of there, like free delivery, if I, see it doesn't know that it's there. I just did a good copy of it, okay? So whatever I'm I'm just all I'm doing is filling these ant lines. When I go in here and I and I go to edit and I hit fill, all it's gonna do is fill. When you hit fill, all it's worried about is what you got selected. Okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna turn that back on, that free thing back on. And if I have a new layer and I'm selected on that new layer, and I go in here and I hit fill. 
and we're going to turn it a different color so that we can um, you can either go white or black or you can choose a color and do it blue so that you can see what I'm talking about and, okay now look it just turned it blue now if I turn that layer off that F is still there from this layer down here all I've done is created another layer the whole the only thing on that layer is a is a blue F okay and I can take my now to get rid of those ant lines just hit command D to deselect and now you can move on to your next letter if you want with the pen tool okay however you want to do it now I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get rid of that blue F and now you see there's nothing on that layer now we're still we're still working um I, all I got is selected right now is just that uh F see right here see back to that point yeah baby could you bring me some tea um hey, could you warm it up there yeah please alright so uh, now look what we can what you can do too is like let's say you let's say you know you're working with that one layer with the gray background and and you're wanting to put those letters there right what you could do, I could go over here to that free delivery, select that layer, which is this layer right there. I'm on this layer. I can take it and fill it. You see, okay, hold on. It's a text layer. So don't worry about that. Just what I'm about to do, all I'm going to do right now is just resaturize the type, which all that does is you see before, I'm going to go back. See, before it is a text layer, right? And if I go to the T, I can come in here and edit my letters. Okay? I can do that. But that's not what I'm what I'm trying what I'm getting at here is is that when you see a big T right there, that means this is a text layer. There's not a whole lot you can do with it other than type on it. So if you want to turn that text layer into an image, right click on that layer and hit resaturize which now look at it I don't know if you can see it but now it's all it is is just an image now it's not I cannot go into the text tool and and edit this at all now okay so with that being said we're gonna pretend like this layer now is just like the layer that you're working on the gray layer with the white lines and that you're trying to do if you want to edit this layer right here Instead of having a new layer selected and putting your dropping your blue F on it, you can go to that layer, click that layer, which is going to be your, I think you call it the background copy. You're going to fill it, and we're going to color it blue. Now watch. I'm going to hit deselect, Command D. Now look, on that image now, the whole image is that now. Okay? If I turn that layer on and off, I've turned that, that letter F on that image blue, just like you're going to do on your other one. Now, if you didn't want to do that, I'm going to go back. I'm going to turn that back into a text layer. I just kept going back. I'm going to go to my new layer. I mean, just this is just a layer that I just created. I mean, if you want, you can delete. I, I, mean, uh, just, I mean, that's just a new layer. Edit, fill. I've already got blue colored in there. See? And now I'm hit deselect. That's just a blue F floating around. If I go to the move tool, click the move tool, I can take that F and move it around. Okay? So hopefully that helped you out. Now what we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kill that kill it. Alright, now look. One other thing I want to show you deselect and then you can move on to your next letter alright now I'm gonna show you how like let's say these are contrast you got I got good contrast here you don't have good contrast on the image you're working on because it's a light gray on a dark gray it's hard to select it but this it's really easy um you know what we're just gonna I'm gonna create a new new thing real quick hold on Okay, I'm going to go to the text tool. 
I'm gonna type in Pam. We're gonna bring it up big. Right now it's a text layer. I can edit this text layer. If I go over here, see it's a text layer. If you want, if I want, I can go over here to T and edit. I can add a whatever in there, okay? Alright. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn this text layer into an image. So I'm going to go click on the text layer, double, right click, resaturize, and now it's just an image. This is just an image, like a picture. I can't, I can't do anything with it now. Now, let's say you were working with this. You can do it, and let's say the background was even, I mean you have high, con, let's say you had high contrasting backgrounds. We're going to turn, we're going to turn it into a, a blue background. Oh, yeah. All right, now I see that. Okay, now let's say I want to turn these letters like you wanted to do white, but they're black. You're going to select your image. You're going to select color range. You're going to pick the color you're going to want to delete. You see, since it's such a high contrasting deal, it works better. And I'm gonna turn the foot full, select it all the way. Uh, boom! It selected it for me perfectly because it's a good contrast. On the other one, you didn't have a good contrast. This wouldn't worked out well for you. So anyway, now that it's selected, it's just a selection. You can do it the same way. You can go over here to fill. Now you see, you got to make sure you're selected on on the layer that you're wanting to do okay we're gonna go edit fill we're gonna turn it a different we're gonna turn it white boom deselect and there you go now also watch this just for fun I deselect oh you know what Okay, I'm gonna go back and select it. Pam, I'm gonna I'm gonna select color range. Same thing I did. It's selected. Okay, now watch this. If I did this, if I had that layer selected and I hit delete, it would delete the black. It would delete that image, right? Because it's everything inside the selection would delete because I hit delete button. I'm gonna go back. Now watch this. If I select this layer, the layer underneath it, the blue layer, and I hit delete, you can't see anything, right? But watch this. If I turn the top layer off, it deleted whatever was selected on that blue layer. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to say it again. The See, the black layer was on top, right? I'm going to go back. I'm going to do it again. All right, now we're back. If I have the Pam selected and I hit delete, it'll delete everything in that black within the selection on the layer that I'm selected on. I'm gonna go back. Now I'm, I'm gonna select on the blue layer. I'm gonna move Pam out of the way so you can get a better view of this. Watch this. I'm just gonna move Pam out of the way. Oh man. I'm gonna get rid of Pam. That whole layer. I'm going to throw that layer in the trash so that you get it. See, I, all I did was use that layer, Pam, to get a selection. Now I'm on blue. Select it on blue. Delete. Everything in there is deleted. One more thing I want to show you real quick. I want to just show you this really cool thing. Um, we're just going to go grab some grass. Wow. Um, wallpaper. I'm just going to grab an image of something like this, okay? Oh. Let me just grab something really quick here. Okay. Huh? Did it really?
Okay, watch. See this kitten right here? We're going to delete that whole kitten out of there. Copy image. Wait. What am I doing here? Alright, we downloaded the image, right? I'm just going to come over here. We're going to get rid of all this. Create a new layer. Get rid of that. Oh my goodness, what am I doing here? Alright, now we're going to come over here to find her. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm not downloaded it. Baby, could you grab my uh, my charger from my computer? Thank you so much, sweetie. Wow, where's that? You know what? It didn't grab it. I don't know. Thank you, baby. I want that kitty. Where's that kitty at? I don't know. Okay, there it is. I got a kitty. Alright, now watch this. I'm going to zoom in on the kitty. And I'm going to take the kitty. I'm going to delete the kitty. Making a selection. Okay. It's just a selection. I could either do it with a pen tool or magic selection. I just did a square one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the kitty. Hey, all I hit was delete. I'm going to go ahead and edit. Fill. Instead of color, I'm going to do content aware. Which means it's going to try and look at all of this and make something to fill this hole in. And it might not work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Looky there. Not absolutely perfect, but kind of good. That was kind of a large area I was de I was killing right there. So, I mean, but if you zoom out or if it's a quick change you need to make, it did a pretty good job. Anyway, that is it. In the tutorial, tutorial point two five nine six two I'm gonna stop it